Hello student, welcome to our class. I'm going to use textbook that I have uploaded in our Google Classroom. Our test has been postponed. If you don't have your textbook also, you can refer it from here. Okay, we are going to start our chapter number 3 that is computer software and operating system. By the name itself, we have already learned what are software and what is operating system. Let's go some more deep into these two topics. They have already mentioned like computer is made up of two components that is two part hardware and software which are touchable hardware and which are not touchable. These are called software. The physical part is called hardware. By combining those two parts, we are going to use the computer. It's going to work. So when we think about the hardware, the physical part, it comes in our mind like monitor, speaker, keyboard, mouse, CPU, RAM, etc. Motherboard, which are inside the CPU cabinet that is RAM, ROM, motherboard, etc. Here also they have mentioned the physical component of computer system is called hardware. And software is a collection of computer programs, procedure and documentation that perform different tasks on the computer. So if something wrong is in hardware, then we are not able we are not going to that computer is not going to work. If some problem is there in software also then you won't be able to work properly and you won't get your required output from the computer so that's why we need both of them to check regularly and maintain our system so what is software which are not touchable or which are not physically present in our computer is a set of instruction program this set of instruction combined together to form a software the computer cannot work without this software the computer cannot work or uh, op operating system is one of the software important software in a computer so the software is classified in three categories that is system software, application software and utility software. This one we have already learned in our junior class also. So let's see our chart. Software, system software, application software and utilities. In system software that is operating system. In previously we are, we have only learned that operating system. Operating system divided into Microsoft, that is Windows, Unix, and Macintosh, and all. And in other part, that is language translator, those compilers, that programming part, and all. Compiler are those program which are going to convert this major user language into machine language. An application software is not compulsory. A compulsory software system software is a compulsory software to run a computer. But application software is we are going to install it from the user point of view I mean if you are going to use Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office you are going to install Microsoft Office like that from the user point of view or the one which is going to use the computer according to their needs they are going to install this application software and utilities are those, are those software which are important to keep our system and security check in our computer system like backup and antivirus and all these are two type of antivirus norton and in uh, the norton antivirus is a type of uh, a security software for a computer to check virus alert and all so in application software openoffice.org is also like a microsoft office payroll customizable 
for office use and all so these are some type of software so now we are going to learn what are those system software what does the system software do system software coordinate the operation of various hardware components so it's coordinated among the hardware and make it run according to the user command so if the user command tells the software then it will act according to the command or instruction given by the user some type of some type of example they are also giving here ms dos making dos operating system os2 windows xp 7 8 10 linux unix etc so this system software act as an interface between the computer and the user it is between the user and the system which act as an interface which is a platform to communicate between the two system software contain those programs that control and support the computer system and it's that the operate processing application include operating system and the language translator so let's see the software which monitor basic activity of a system is called system look at the software which monitor uh, okay this operating system is going to monitor your computer hardware part and your it must be the background check and all everything this operating system is going to monitor and according to the needs or according to the problem or according to the error it will also mention the user some let's say i'll give you an example when you have an internet connection in your computer it will notify you in a notification bar and if there is no internet connection the windows will notify you there will be there is no internet connection in your computer like that so it acts at the it acts in a background check also so what is this operating system operating system is a set of programs which combine all together it's a combination of programs which bundle up into a big one which manage the resources of the computer that is hardware and all and process the command or instruction and control program execution it controls the program execution also auto command and all that is an operating system this is the one we have already discussed that is interface between the user and the hardware of the computer so what is operating system here again so operating system calls application program whenever needed so operating system is a main software which is very much needed for our, com for our computer if there is no operating system in your computer then computer cannot even start up also and you cannot even install anything any software at all so this platform we need to install first in our computer system so whenever needed it's going to call up this application software according to our needs or according to the user command translate special service program and manage that are needed to produce output as desired by the user that's what we have explained according to the user needs it's going to call up this application program and give the desired output to the user what is language translator so let's see what is language translator in computerized processor all types of command that is instruction and all is required to convert into a matching code which is a combination of zeros and one the one which we did program in our computer that is in basically uh, in uh, previous class and all we have learned this q basic and all html and all when we do an q basic command or http or this one c plus plus and any command it's been converted into machine language that is zeros and one so these are the things which are going to do by a language translator when we give instruction to a command 
in a language that is user language that is in ABCD format which is similar to our own language and easier for us to understand the computer translates this link instruction into a machine language and helps the language with the help of language translator language translator are of three type so I'll tell you when we do a programming by using a compiler and all no no by using uh, any language so that language according to that language we are going to use this type of uh, maybe in assembler or compiler or interpreter so we are going to use this one of these three and we are going to convert our language or the one which we have written the instruction into a machine language that is the work this language translator do so let's see the first one that is an assembler an assembler is used to convert the program written in assembly language into machine language so it is very easy the one which we write the instruction or code in assembly language is going to convert in machine language that is zero and one the one which computer understand computer doesn't understand our command the one which we wrote in our own way not own way by using a special language programming language Compiler translates a source program that is usually written in a high level language by a programmer into machine language. For each high level language, the machine requires a separate compiler. A compiler creates a unique object program. That is, if a source program is compiled, there is no need of that source program because output can be obtained by executing the object program. So here, Compiler is also same thing. It's going to convert program which is written in high level language by a programmer. This is a type of language which a programmer used to write. We'll learn later on what are those high level language. So it's converted into a machine language and it requires a separate compiler for every language and all. So for this high level language, there are different type of high level language like Java, C++ and all language. For each and every language, uh, they have a different compiler for uh, converting into a machine language. So each and every high language, they have a different systematic or pattern or pattern of uh, language, how to write the program or give instruction to the computer so that uh, it's like that. So a compiler create a unique object program for that and when it uh, compile so it doesn't need anymore this source program like that. We'll learn later on about that one. So interpreter interpreter translate this source code source code or uh, the source program instruction given written in a written by the programmer so it executes like line by line or statement by statement. So this also same thing. It's convert into machine instruction or machine readable form. And this instruction, uh, this one, translate next source and next statement. So then execute this machine instruction before translating to the uh, translating the next source code. So um, before uh, this one, simply I'll tell you like this before converting the next source code it will execute first line and after that it will again uh, jump into the next line so uh, there is a small table um, between the difference between compiler and the interpreter the compiler scan the entire program or entire source code and translate into a machine code, machine readable form that is zeros and one. And interpreter translate the program line by line, the one which I have already told you. 
it will it will execute line by line and after that it will move to the next line that is the main difference remember this one if you go in computer line in other in further move on you will learn this one interpreter or this one compiler this is very important compiler scan the whole program or the source code and it will translate into machine code while the interpreter translate line by line this is very important java and all the same thing so convert the entire program to machine code when all the syntax error are removed and execute takes place execution take place means after uh, when we write a program in QBasic, uh, when we compile and run it, that is compiler. QBasic use compiler method. So when you run it, it it doesn't give the output until and unless there is an error. That is the main thing. If you understand that QBasic uh, systematic way, if you run the program, if there is an error, then it won't move to the output session so that's why that is the main thing it won't convert or execute so until and unless the syntax error or the systematic error is corrected slow for debugging remove removal of mistake from the program so this this process makes us slower in debugging debugging means uh, fixing the bug in our program and execution time is less this is the plus point in for compiler the execution time is less but uh, this one interpreter what does it do each time the program is executed line by line when it execute line by line and give the output it can give the output and check the syntax error it move on line by line and check the syntax error then convert it into the equivalent machine code that is and good for fast debugging debugging is fast in this step and execution execution time is more this is the difference between the compiler and the this one interpreter so let's move on to the next topic that is application software we all know this is very easy that is application software application software once in my head when i use the word application software i used to probably i used to give in, in games and all because everyone play games because um, game if is depend on the user if i want to play game i will install it in my pc or system but if i don't want to use game then i won't install it that is the user's choice according to the user choice it is going to install in the system so let's see what does it say Application software is a set of program designed for a specific user to perform a specific task. This is very true for a uh, specific performance. We have to use that uh, particular software for various examples like this, this, and this. MS Office, Open Media Player, uh, Photoshop, and all everything. We can include everything. There are many applications. Most of them are application software. And the one which we are using, uh, this one and all. PDF, either this one, scan, and recording purpose, and everything, editing software, these are all under application software. The one which uh, doesn't need this um, the recording software or this one, um, PDF, either, uh, don't need to install it. So, these are all included in application software. The difference between the software application. Application software can be custom made, but it's usually purchased of itself. For example, counting program database, in the, for accounting purpose, tele and all, we have to buy it. And you have to make customized program, we can make it, we can develop a software. And database program, there are different type of database program, SQL and MS Access also. We have learned a little bit in previous class. In graphic in graphic software and all uh, this one Photoshop and all paint Corel draw and all drawing included in the Corel draw and everything image editing program Photoshop and all Photoshop we have to buy it from Adobe and application software categorized into two part general purpose application software and specific purpose and uh, application software so this uh, application software is divided into two part let's see the first one that is general purpose 
application software it's included what 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 are the things included in this one general purpose would be anything that add in allowing you to accomplish a simple computer related tax that is a minimum basic thing when you buy a computer the basic the basic thing you need in a in your system when you buy a computer that one day or another day you will need to type a this one application or you need to run some letter or like that so you need a word processor like that there are different type of software so let's see what are included in the this general purpose software word processor press seed presentation database management graphic package and all it's included uh it's a uh, desktop publishing packages these are included under this one Mm. general purpose application software look here what proper what processor means notepad and all ms word these are all included under uh word processor which enable us to create or edit print chef document for a future relevant and spreadsheet excel and all number and mm, for uh, Macintosh iOS iOS is different uh, their Excel type thing is called numbers and presentation keynotes and this one is space spreadsheet spreadsheet consists software consists of a sheet having a matrix of row and column we all learn what is excel and we all know that it has rows and column and it's been divided and we are going to calculate using this spreadsheet and all best example of spreadsheet software is microsoft excel lotus one to three and open office open office is a um, license free office you don't need to buy to use open open office you can download it from internet it's free you can run it in uh, uh, linux also and windows it's free software you can download it from internet presentation software when we heard the word presentation it comes into our mind this is microsoft powerpoint Presentation is a package. We all know that when we want to give a present something on a topic, then we are going to use this presentation software. Basically, we are going to develop a chart or presenting something more understandable way to the audience. And database management system, database management record also we have learned in previous class. by using this database management system we are going to keep a record for our system that is uh, most commonly uses this uh, mysql profex uh, we have learned ms access a little bit in previous class and the piece of information is called field and collection of fields are called record and these are all together called database such record we need if we maintain uh, if you're going to maintain in a register physical way then you're going to have a difficulties while searching a patient let's take an example in a hospital if you maintain a record of database and if you maintain in a register then it will be difficult to search a detail about patient or a doctor so if we do it in a computer then it will be much easier than searching in a hard copy graphic packages what are those graphic packages? Now these graphic packages are those which are we are going to convert the data into the graphic form and we are going to print it by using this plotter and uh, plotter or any printers and we are going to convert that into hard copy. Typically this graphic software enable data to be plotted line chart, bar chart, pie chart like that and we are going to print by using the printer. Okay, next one let's see desktop publishing packages desktop publishing package 
is now very popular nowadays. You must have seen many shops, DTP shop and all. They are using a pre-designed format for many languages. Like in software, they are using PageMaker, Adobe InDesign, CorelDRAW, or Microsoft Publisher and all. They use they are why they are being used because a newsletter uh, and during the election time you can see flyers and all when you see an advertisement flyers used to separate or uh, distribute among the public like that and all for developing that type of thing we need desktop publishing packages D, uh, DTP and all we have many DTP shop here in our state also you can see on the road side itself now next six uh, the next is this one specific purpose application software what are those software which fall into this category specific purpose software generally one purpose solve a specific task for example Window Movie Maker. What does this Window Movie Maker? It is going to convert some data or some file into a movie. And there's only one thing which could make movie or mind sweep. This is a game. These are all under specific purpose and other games also. These are included under this specific purpose software. This type of software is meant to be for only to serve only uh, one purpose let's see some of the example accounting packages and all tele and all most of the institution are using tele for accounting purpose like that tax planner facility finding account payable payroll function easy creation in invoice means this is a type of software when you buy something or when you buy a product it's going to generate this invoice about the product facility of producing charts and graphs simple inventory control facility online connection to store codes and all these are type of specifically type of purpose of software which we are going to create or which we are going to make to serve only one purpose accounting management accounting management management is a money related thing accounting software is an application that breaks and creates accounting transaction into stages and um, that breaks the transaction of money and shows the calculation it will show and it will help in calculation the accountant used to do all the work by using this software so it creates a simplicity in that one can choose to study or use just one of the stages means uh, the accountant or the one which we are they are going to use uh, which is going to use this software they can use some of the common software is daily zero Serial, you know, and this one it makes it easier to the accountant to understand with the transaction alone, it, it cannot be an error. So, by using this type of software, we can reduce the error in the transaction and it can be easily corrected and we can modify the error and all easily understandable also. A reservation system reservation system these are the type of software when uh, we used to do uh, before the corona and all when we want to travel abroad or when we want to travel to a place inside a country we used to book a ticket for a flight or a train by using this old reservation system and all it's all it's a central network or it's interrelated connected to everything with the travel agency and all so by using this type of software, we can book our ticket and do the reservation. Maybe of hotel, ticket or restaurant. 
and this will create our mm, this one hazel fee that we don't need to go to a shop or particular shop we don't need to go here and there we can connect or we can by using this system we can connect or book anytime and it's hazel free some of the examples they are given here also and it is a real-time update capabilities and all if you book a ticket and all it's real-time updated the ticket will be minus from a system whole system so if you are going to book a ticket for indigo flight 10 tickets if you are going to book then some, uh, until uh, the moment you book the ticket it will be minus from the seat indigo server and all so it's all interconnected some of the example website are indian railway yatra these are all gobibo clear trip and all these are all booking site for tourists and all they have offered this hotel booking also hr management so HR management is also a type of specific software which is going to manage only the human resource of an organization or of an institute. So what does it do? So it manages all the human resource department spending, managing employee information about the employee benefit, employee plan, uh, this one plan and all, employee, this salary and all. This is going to maintain by this HR management software. So what does it, what it's a benefit to us? So it's, it will maintain all the employee attendance and all, plan, salary, Benefits information employee benefit, uh, maintenance and all so produce the customized cost saving report from central database with our award winning human resource software. So there are different type of software for HR management. They can use this software for a particular management of an employee or the employee or the management of the people working in that institute or organization this one let's see this HR management software produce facility like paying employee and providing benefit training employees etc so it's manage all the employee detail and all everything here attendance system is very much popular nowadays in our uh, in school or in a small organization also there is a attendance facility this type of software is a specific software that is going to take only the attendance by it's maybe biometric or any anything so this only to track the student or the employee absent absentees on that day so the only purpose of this software is to maintain that record it may be for parents uh, this one student employee or in any organization school organization or any institute Easy and efficient track employee time, manage time and attendance, record uh, employee file. So, what is the benefit of using this software? So, by using this, it's easily to track the student or employee by using this attendance system. Let's see the next point and all. So, here are some points listed for the attendance software payroll system this is uh, for an organization so that the employee gets uh, his salary or wages according to the system that he has joined into the organization this system by using this system uh, we can track the employee payment or very easily and we can give the benefits of the employee inventory management system it's a management system so that it's like a database so that we are going to track the quantity of the goods or the material that we are in supply and how much we are left with that product 
so by this inventory management system we will get to know how many product or uh, material we are having in our hand school inventory control system this is also a good software system so that it's similar with our inventory it uh, manages all the school system like uh, keeping our books keeping our material about the school so by using this we can control of our school um, school assets like uh, computer decks and bench and how many projectors we have how many decks and bench we have how many textbook we have how many uh, books and magazines we have in our library like that we can track all the school etc and all billing system this is the type of software which we use for a billing of our daily day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day requirement for monthly billing and all it's required database it's combination of software package and database about the customer detail and all like if we are giving bill for our telephone a credit card bill electricity of our home and all these are some examples they have given monthly bill of telephone credit card electricity bill water cable and all the service that we are using for a monthly payment or yearly payment we are going to pay through this billing system and all the very good example is in our this prepaid system we can log it into our website MSPDSL website and we can pay our bill over there that type of software is specific purpose application software utilities software so much requirement software for a system the fragmentation when the fragmented disk is there we can defragmentation and uh, by using this defragmentation disk defragmentation software we can uh, remove the fragmented file and clean up in our mobile phone also we have clean up things and all uh, clean up means nothing it's not going to clean up the dust and all it's going to clean up the catch memory that has been stored in your memory maybe in mobile or computer and antivirus and all these are very important software which are very needed for our system or it may be mobile phone and all WinWar is a compressed file which we can zip up our software or any file and we can transfer it what is the benefit of using this WinWar and all because we can zip up the file means we can compress the file and we can send it to our internet to be easier if the file is smaller then it will be more convenient for us to send through in the uh, internet virus scanner and all these are all uh, are included in antivirus system mobile application let's see about mobile application our next topic that is mobile application this is very interesting topic right now what are those mobile applications? Mobile applications are software program developed for mobile devices such as smartphone and tablet. These are called mobile applications. These are similar with computer, that's why now it's being popular. And those software are called application. And it's uh, according to the platform, it's a different uh, operating system, not operating system mobile OS. Uh, according to uh, the difference of that mobile operating system and developer also it's different developing platform also it's different so web app online app iphone app smartphone app these are some application and these are all app mobile application so basically it's of two type 
These applications are created by a group of software experts specifically for operating system which will run. Now, now look see, it's different, it's uh, same with computer. They are going to do a, uh, do a particular specific purpose when they develop. So there are other different type of mobile operating system. But mainly we are using Google platform, Google Android, that is Google Android and Apple iOS. So the app those who are run on those who run on Android will not run on iOS and those app those who are running on iOS will not run on uh, Android. It's a different platform. So according to that we have to develop compatibility with the operating system. Now many mobile apps are corresponding to meet the run on desktop computer. So many mobile apps have been developed to run on the desktop computer also because uh, easy to, for easy communication with the user and the client and transparency between the organization like government department uh, departments and education health retail business and all banking industry and all which are all mobile application we can get in our android or ios and in uh, laptop computer also and computer system also so let's see what are the benefit for using this mobile application easy way to reach client user to user communication yes transparency between the user and the client transparency between the user and the organization easy to maintain the project we can develop a new new project customer feel more comfortable if customer i will give you an example if a customer can check their bank detail anytime from their mobile phone then it will be more comfortable on the customer side that's why nowadays every bank has every nationalized bank has developed its own application like SBI, uh, Punjab National Bank, HDFC, ICICI like that many others mobile application provide faster and easier alternative to web browsing so if someone is not having computer then he can access from mobile anywhere and mobile app reduce the cost of com compare and instant message traditional advertisement and all so this is a very important thing before when we used to check uh, balance and all we used to send message to a computer uh, this one server and they are going to detect messages and all it charges and all but if we use this mobile in app or mobile app and all those sms charges and all it's been uh, safe because if we use this mobile application and give more value to the customer the user that has been uh, using the services and all for our bank and our other organization improve customized business and uh, customer relationship after accessing client detail and receive feedback and all if we are doing a business let's see Momai and all right now in during this corona we can buy online vegetable and all for Momai and all uh, during this time of uh, very pandemic and all uh, they are doing business according uh, by using this application and all that's the thing uh, if they want to change something it's very easier for them to change by using this app and even the client or user um, buyer they want to access also it's very easy and anytime they can access I can then receive the feedback also if they want to change everything they can directly send the developer or organization I mean the contact between the organization and the user is very transparent special security available to app data and special security there are different type of security used as being available after using this app 
and it helps to share and discuss your product or services in social media also right now social media is very popular nowadays so if the business or if the thing is uh, or business is uh, popular in our social media also then you can increase the customer and they can expand their services and all like that next is operating system we will do this one in next class thanks for watching